Gaganyan, we are going to the, the final launch will happen in 2025. This year is going to be very important because the the test flights will be accomplished this year. Because you see, we just as it is important and very significant and very 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 uh, exciting to send a human being into the space. It is equally important to get the human being back safe and sound. Mm -hmm. So we have a crew module, we have an operation module, and the test flights would ensure that all these functions happen as we have any size. And then the last flight before the actual flight would be uh, carrying a robo, a female robo, who has been named Voyo Mitra. So she would perform all those activities which actually the finally a human astronaut would perform. Right. And then she would come back, she would be retrieved back. So how the astronaut goes up and finally comes back, retrieved through the uh, water. And for that activity, the naval guards, the naval forces, the coastal guards, all of them will put into operation. This is going to be a whole of government approach. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, it will be somewhere around 2025. And interestingly, the other part to share with you is that around the same time when we have an Indian going into the space mm -hmm. in 2025, we would also have an Indian going into the seabed. Our sea depth maximum is about 5,000 to 6,000 meters. And we would, uh, for that also, one, one test pilot would be conducted this year where uh, an Indian would go down up to about uh, 500 meters below the sea surface and finally in 2025 we'll go to the lowest seabed and that's going to generate blue economy the the minerals the metals the mm -hmm. biodiversity the entire wealth which lies in the because we have a 7500 long kilometer uh, coastal area longer than any other country and these are going to add Dr. to the indian economy in the next 25